John, you've been involved in many matches over the years and that's some performance from your side tonight, isn't it? Well, we played well. You know, we, we dominated the first half, deservedly took the lead. You know, with a bit of fortune, we could have gone through uh, with the free kick. We've gifted them a goal. It was a terrible goal from our point of view. Um, under no real pressure, you know, scoring an own goal. And then give Charlton as you, they really raised the game, started the second half, pinned us in. Uh, five or ten minutes, they had a couple of good chances, and you know, you're thinking, oh, where we go again. Then we got control of the game again, wrestled control back, scored two great goals, could have scored a third. Uh, and then we just, we can't make things easy for ourselves, you know, the ball's going out of play by the corner flag. Had to kick it out of play or, or see it out, and you know, Yab's young lad gets caught alongside, cross comes in. Uh, Sam, another young lad, Sam Sheridan, doesn't deal with it, and Jaden buries it. And then, you know, then it's the Alamo then for five, ten minutes. Uh, but luckily, we saw it out, and uh, I don't think anyone can put a good just to win on the balance of the play that we played tonight. Harry Pell certainly put in a good performance. He started here at Charlton, so it would have meant quite a bit to him. Yeah, and he should have had the match ball because a 3 2, he's missed it. Well, 3 1, he's missed an absolute sitter near post header. Um, but he was sensational tonight. You know, when he, I'd seen him put about four of them free kicks in, in training on Friday, in exactly the same spot he put it in, where he scored from tonight. And, and I was calling it before he took it. I fancied him to score it, and he's buried it. And he, he was an handful all night. He, he, you know, with, with the booking and the, the pushing over in the box, you don't want to see that. And then it becomes like a pantomime villain, where every time he touches the ball, he gets booed, and you know, it's, it's not what it's about. You know. Harry knows how important he can be to the, to the side um, and when he gets it right he's a very very good player um, but you know everyone played the part today you know on another day Colby they got the ball squared to him three times he was open to tap of the ball and that I thought he was outstanding tonight led the line brilliantly um, you know and I've been telling everybody who listen how good a player he is um, but you know everyone turned up to the party tonight you know Sean McCampbell far more comfortable on the left it was a threat all night, you know, made the made Pelly's uh, second goal. Um and was back to his best, you know, um more of a threat. We got Ethan into the game more cutting inside as well. Um and you know Jimmy Bell should take a lot of credit for that because he was the one who was pushing me to, to switch them over, which we did on it. I think it worked tonight. Um but you know you couldn't you couldn't fault anybody tonight. You know, they all they all played the part. Um, and it's not an easy place to come to, um, you know. And you don't want to hear what you're hearing from the fans, you know. Like Nigel, he's one of the. Football. I was going to ask you about. Well, he's he, one of football's good guys. guys. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. And, you know, you, you shouldn't be subjected to that. And you know, and one or two incidents in the crowd, you don't want to see it. John. It's unsavoury, but you know, fans vent the frustration in, in different ways. But you know, it's the players who have to take responsibility. You know, and I'm not just joining the managers union here and jumping on the bandwagon but the players have to stand up to the to the plate and he's got good players here um you know who, who are capable and you know I, I feel for them because I, i've been in them situation before when you're thinking you know i know that these players can play better than this but they're not well it's not his fault they're not playing well he wants no. to play it's down to the players and just finally i don't want to make it big club small club but they've got a big budget you haven't got such a big budget and when you come here you touched on it that it's a difficult place. I mean, that really must make you purr with delight. Well, it does, but it frustrates you because, you know, you only get three points for winning here like you get three points for winning anywhere else. We didn't play anywhere near like the standard we played tonight against Cheltenham. And that's no disrespect to Cheltenham, because Cheltenham are a good side. But we've got to treat every game like, like it's, it's our cup final and not just save it for the big occasions and the big stadiums. Um, you know, we're better than that. And we've shown in the past that we're better than that. We've got to get a bit of consistency on our game and we've got to stop giving silly goals away because, honestly, I'd say 12, 14, 15 goals we've conceded this season have all been out of a comic book, you know, you, you couldn't make them up. And we've got to get better than that and that's down to concentration and working hard on the same again. Makes the trip home a bit easier though. Yeah, a lot easier, yeah, and we'll probably get home by half three, so, uh, you know, but we can rest up and then go again for the big game on Saturday.